what I'm saying sustainable there, I'm saying from an economic design model. So if we look at something like Bitcoin, Bitcoin would have what I would call unsustainable economic design. And the reason for that is effectively chain security is what you pay the miners. And right now, the miners are majority being paid still by block subsidies. And as the block subsidies, subsidies continue to decay, they need to be replaced by revenues through transactions. But there is no ability to really increase the number of transactions that Bitcoin can handle. So the only way to increase revenue is by actually increasing fees per transaction. The question is, can you know, if, if we want to maintain security, can I find five TPS worth of people that are willing to pay $1,000 per transaction? Because that's what I'm going to need sort of in the future if I want Bitcoin to remain sustainable in terms of its economic security. So my sort of thesis is you're not going to find that. And so what you have to do is to maintain economic sustainability or uh, obtain economic sustainability in a work-based system is you need to maximize the utility for the greatest number of people to generate the greatest amount of revenue that goes to the miners to get the greatest economic bandwidth in the system, so to speak. And, and you do that through scaling. And you do that through creating uh, utility like uh, Chi, the energy dollar, and through Quai, you know, programmable uh, sort of DeFi. The thing about using energy, like using energy is not bad. The question is, how much energy are you using to accomplish something of economic value, right? I would argue that Quai can scale to replace the banking system, the finance system, insurance, in stocks, if we were to add up what that composes of GDP, it's something like 30%. But in terms of needing to maintain economic security, you're probably looking at like 2 to 3% of global electricity. So if we're looking at like net efficiency of what you're doing here, Quai is 1,000 times more efficient than what we're currently doing. Well, well so, so an, an, another way to think about this simply too, right, so, so, so to kind of have that maybe an analogy to that conversation, Another way to think about it is, right, if we're talking about like commute, commuting and like commuting is a process that uses energy. If everybody has a car and everyone's driving to work every day, you know, that's some use of energy. And we, we can morally debate if it's a good or bad use. It, it doesn't matter. But if I can replace that with bikes, right, the bikes still take money to make. They're still made out of steel, you know, and you have to eat extra food to pedal them, right? So they're, they're not free but they're less than the cars, right? And then maybe if I go down one level and I say, okay, well, I don't actually have to commute anymore. I'm just gonna zoom in to work. You know, that's probably less energy intensive than biking, right? But I'm still paying for electricity. I'm still paying to run servers. I'm still paying for the infrastructure of the internet. So it's still not zero, but it's more efficient than biking, which is more efficient than driving a car. So, so in that analogy, I'm just saying like, what is the current system and when we say if something's energy intensive or not, or if it's efficient or not, you should compare it to what it's replacing, right? That's point one. Another simple way to think about this too is maybe just think about it as amount of energy per transaction. So right now, Bitcoin uses like an outrageous amount of energy per transaction. But if you scale Bitcoin up by 10,000 or 100,000, right, you're using 100,000 times less energy per transaction, which makes it seem much more reasonable. No, that's that's not true. No, because because what will happen is people that have high cost of electricity won't be the cheap producers. The ones that are like running aggregate lowest average that's sufficient to meet demand will produce chi. Uh, that's actually a similar statement for Kwai, which is also just a similar statement for mining generally, right? If we look at mining distribution, you know, Germany at 40 cents a kilowatt hour is probably not going to be where most of the mining is. It 